What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to try a triple bug team for the Halloween Cup. The bug typing hasn't really been the top performer for the, the Halloween Cup. It's been like Dark Poisons, right? Skunk Tank, Drapion, etc. But Confusion does so well against the meta. We see a lot of kind of pure poison types or poison types that aren't dark. So Quillfish, Toxicroak, Nidoqueen, they get chunked by Confusion. Smackdown as well is incredibly strong against the Ice types, the Flyers and the Bugs. And Gavantula with Volt Switch is just super strong as well. You guys know these Pokemon, but a very deadly fast move team right here so we'll have to see how it performs today let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team in these battles and let's get right into it okay triple bug team let's see how it performs today venomoth on the lead we catch a tentacruel right here again one of those pokemon that has the poison typing um, without dark so we're going to be seeing confusion absolutely chunk now the thing about tentacruel is that it has access to incredibly hard hitting charge moves like blizzard and hydro pump so we're going to respect it and shield and sure enough it was a blizzard so no boom to start this video but we will fully farm down we'll have to see what decides to come in um, and we will see a lowland marowak now i make a misclick right here i should be going for the poison fangs in order to apply as many debuffs as i can now i do get a shield and i am maxed out on energy so i will be able to get another poison fang off but it's unfortunate that i couldn't get three poison fangs instead of one right there barely can get to two but we don't get to it that's okay even shield switch advantage we're gonna bring in the alolan marowak and they swap into a toxicroak so we will come into gavantula right now makes a lot of sense why they didn't swap out because toxicroak gets deleted as well by confusion mud bomb right here doesn't do too much damage and we get a bit of lag which makes it very dicey but i am able to get off the lunge right here hopefully um this gets the shield alolan marowak is all, always deadly with a shield and energy but they decided not to shield that is very unfortunate for me but they do throw their charge move right here so i'm gonna let this go we're gonna come in with that crustal um, and farm down with smackdown so that we have extra energy versus alolan marowak as alolan marowak is an incredibly strong pokemon and very deadly with its charge moves the one we have to look out for is shadow bone or shadow ball so i will give up a shield here and it was the shadow ball that is a huge shield for me and i will now go for x scissor this is going to be resisted but giving the amount of hp left from alolan marowak they should be shielding and we're going to try to go for another one right away to close this game out so that's going be a good game very well played to my opponent right there but alolan marowak hangs on and gets the charge move i'm like oh no don't be another shadow i think it's just gonna be a bone club and it is just a bone club so we can tank that right there and that is gonna be a good one but showcasing um how strong confusion can be on this one we have a nidoqueen queen lead i'm telling you venomoth is actually very good against some of these pokemon that you guys see a lot of dragalgy as well now i make a mistake and come in with gavantula right here um but we'll have to see they decided to swap out of nidoqueen queen into another poison typing that takes confusion damage so i think in this case the uh the confusion there on venomoth might be able to sweep their whole team so we're gonna save it. we're going to come into a losing matchup basically um, and look to get as many debuffs as we can versus this dragalgy now they do get to another aqua tail right here which is unfortunate we will have to let it go and we're going to have to come in with venomoth and basically try to load up on energy if we can so we're going to go ahead and just try to confusion down but i don't think i'm going to make it before they get in another aqua tail so i will throw poison fang right here to apply the debuff it's going to be resisted do a little bit of chip damage and just do one more confusion and that's looking very good now so if nidoqueen queen comes back in let's see if it does it does decide to come back in this whole team is weak to confusion just goes to show that confusion does well in this meta i know there's a lot of drapions i know there's a lot of skunk tanks but honestly confusion does really well and having access to poison fang and silver wind um, is even better so we're going to go ahead and clear the debuff swap into crustal right now and the final pokemon is actually going to be arido so smackdown as well is going to be able to close this one out very nicely for us they really don't have an answer um, to any of these pokemon venomoth and crustal just completely shreds through this team we will um, give up i think i decided you know i decided to no shield this right here 
we'll just commit to the farm down. These cross poisons don't do too much damage. I was surprised they didn't go for lunge there. Maybe they don't have it. Um, but either way, we would have given up a shield on a lunge if there was one. And we're just going to go ahead and basically double rock slide here. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. They're going to have to throw their charge move. Not going to do too much damage, but we will shield and then just close this one out. But as you saw right there, a full team weak to confusion. This is something you guys don't want to be sleeping on. I think there are some fantastic fast moves in this meta. Um, that just handles it, right? So I think Mud Slap is one. So Go Lurk. I don't have one, unfortunately, so I can't showcase it for you guys. I'm trying my best to get trades for it. Um, but Mud Slap would be another one that does really well in this meta. So we have a Alola Ninetales now on the lead. So again, somewhat of a decent matchup. I have to watch out for the Psy Shock. Weather Balls as well will still be doing a lot of damage. Um, but we're just going to go ahead, throw these Poison Fangs right here. And we do force a shield. I try to swap to catch the charge move, but I won't get it in time. So I will shield. And it is, in fact, going to be a Weather Ball. So we're going to swap now. And we swap at the same time. And they bring in a Hoopa. That is extremely spicy. You love to see it. Um, but I, I honestly don't know what this thing is going to do. I haven't used it myself, nor have I seen it in Go Battle League yet. So since I got um, a shield right there, we will just let them throw the charge move. We'll let this go through. And we will come in with our Crustle to load up on energy. They do have Psybeam. Okay, so Confusion and Psybeam. We're going to come in with Crustle now, obviously. Confusion will shred apart a Venomoth. Um, and Crustle as well, even against Alolan Ninetales, is going to do incredibly well because of Smackdown and Rock Slide. They decide to surrender, so they're likely weak to Crustle um, as well. So good game, very well played. All right, so we got Venomoth now versus Quillfish. We're seeing this all the time. Let's see what our opponent decides to do. They're deciding to stay in, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm just going to load up right here on energy and apply that Poison Fang debuff if I can. I will shield the Aqua Tail as well. And we do see them swap out into Zwilios. So this is where Silverwind can come in. Remember, it's part dark typing. So it's going to take super effective damage from bug type moves. And it lands. So we're going to come in with the Crustle and smack down. Fully farmed down right here. Even if they get to the Dark Pulse, which I think they will right here. We're just going to let it go. I think we can survive. And it is the Dark Pulse, in fact. So I think we can survive and smack down since we landed the Silverwind. That was extremely close call. But we pulled it off. Now, we're likely going to be seeing that Quillfish come back in, which is why we have that Rock Slide locked and loaded right here to apply as much shield pressure as we can. We still have Gavantula. We still have Venomoth. So this Quillfish has nowhere to go, um, which is very good for us. Now, I believe I decide to come in with the Venomoth right here. I'm reading a potential another Dark type in the back. Actually, no, I decide to come in with Gavangela this time. Load up on energy, and we actually will see a Dragalge in the back. So this is perfectly fine with me. We're going to apply that Lunge debuff, and then we're going to come in with the Venomoth and Confusion down. Again, this is why these fast moves right here, which is why I said something in the title about the fast moves, Confusion does really well in this meta. Smackdown does really well, and Volt Switch does really well. Same with Mud Slap. Again, I said it before, I'd love to try something Mud Slap, maybe Crocodile, um, maybe um, Golurk, but sadly, I don't have access to that. But Venomoth able to handle um, the Dragalgy right there, and we will see the quill, uh, the Quillfish throw the Aqua Tail. We'll shield it, fast move down, and that's going to be a good game, very well played. So, not necessarily like Charm and Razor Leaf, but still, these fast moves are really strong in this meta. All right, moving in the next one, we got Venomoth versus Muck. Okay, we'll have to see how we can play this out. Um, and it is a Snarl one as well. So I think in hindsight, looking at this battle now, um, I should have swapped right away into Gavantula. Um, looking to get to the lunge as quickly as possible and draw out a Nidoqueen if there was one in the back. What I've noticed um, with my battles is if there's a Lonely Muck on the lead, they tend to have more poisons in the back as well. So I now decide to swap into Gavantula and they're deciding to stay in. So I'm going to go ahead and give up a shield. Maybe they are weak in the back to Gavantula. So we'll stop this Dark Pulse right here, be well ahead on energy and see what they decide to do. They're deciding to stay in. So I will throw the lunge before another Dark Pulse comes through as I don't want to have to give up two shields or tank um, in terms of my HP, and they do actually have a skunk tank in the back. Okay, so something that necessarily can't come straight in um, to a Gavantula, so this lunge is going to be very nice for us. We do get a shield as well. Hoping I can get to one more in time. 
No, I cannot. They will get the crunch off right here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to give up another shield. I'm reading that maybe they're weak to Gavantula in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this lunge and then I'll look to swap out, saving Gavantula with as much energy as I can as my switch clock is now back up and we get two shields. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out now into the Venomoth to catch the charge. Move. Venomoth at this point really isn't going to do much for me. So its best use is going to be catching the energy there from the skunk tank. Now, because I have Gavantula low with energy, I don't want to waste that just yet. So I'm going to come in with the Crustal and load up with Smackdown. And sure enough, there was a Quillfish in the back. This also just goes to show how strong Crustal is with the Smackdown and Rockside. Um, because we can survive an Aqua Tail right here. It will do super effective damage, but not too much to take us out. Which means we can get this Rockside off for neutral and take out the Quillfish. So that is looking to be a good battle. It's going to be a close one. Hopefully I can get to this X Scissor in time and we do get to it. So that's going to be a good game, very well played. Again, these fast moves very strong in this meta. So good game to my opponent. And let's go ahead and move into the next one here. Let's see, we have Venomoth on the lead versus Jellicent. Okay, so something that Gavantula can destroy, but honestly, I can handle it better later on. So we're going to swap right away into Gavantula and we draw out an Alolan Ninetale. So we're just going to go for discharges right here. I could go for lunge, but honestly, I really want to apply pressure with shields and damage. And we do chunk the HP, which means I can force switch if I want to right here. We're going to go ahead and shield the first one. It was actually a Psy Shock, which was very interesting. So we're just going to go ahead, throw the lunge now as they'll likely try to give up a shield here to maintain switch advantage if they don't fair enough but let's see yeah they do give up a shield so now we're just going to commit to switch right here and loaded energy as Gavantula can do very well likely against their team if this is the hardest counter to their Gavantula right because we swapped into it so we're going to go ahead farm down let's see what decides to come in our switch clock is back up so if we need to we will swap to crustal and in this case we will we're going to go ahead and throw the discharge here versus the wiggly tough to do as much neutral damage as we can go straight into the crustal and see what they decide to do if we can get this rock slide it's going to be very good for us they decide to swap into jellicent now which is perfectly fine rock slide still does neutral damage in this matchup and they're going to have to throw their charge move if they want to win um, this matchup right here. We still have Venomoth as well for Wigglytuff, so things are looking pretty good. Here comes the charging ring, probably going to be Shadow Ball, but they decide to go for Bubble Beam, which is not going to be enough. I might be able to get to the X Scissor here, and they're actually very concerned about that as well, so they're going to go ahead and throw the Bubble Beam yet again. Completely fine with me. I will come in with Gavantula and farm down with Volt Switch as two should be enough to take it out. Yeah, there's one. There's two. We have energy loaded. We're going to go for the damage instead of the attack debuff right here. Um, as Discharge should do enough to get it extremely low. We'll come into Venomoth now and farm down with Confusion. Wigglytuff is able to get to the charge move. But honestly, it shouldn't do too much damage right here. I think Venomoth can hang on. And we do right there from the Ice Beam. That's going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right. Moving to the next one. Triple bug team, really fun. We got another Alolan Ninetales on the lead. And this one is actually going to be a Charm, which is a much better matchup for us as we can tank that damage because of our typing and look to throw as many Poison Fangs as we can um, versus this Alolan Ninetales. So they decide to shield perfectly fine by me. We're just going to keep trucking through right here and look to throw one more Poison Fang, but they swap into Dustox, which is an extremely spicy Pokemon, very similar to Venomoth in terms of its type typing and move set but thankfully we just applied that debuff and we can bring in crustal to smack down now we're gonna have to shield this thing hurts this is a level 40 maybe it's a bit higher i don't imagine this is xl um, but we're gonna go ahead and shield that bug buzz and just completely farm down and again they can't really bring in a little nine tails right here because we do have rock slide so let's see what they have in the back it is, they decide to bring in the Alola Ninetales. All right, so Rock Slide right here, gonna be getting that final shield from our opponent. And it'd be curious to see what the last Pokemon in the back is going to be because we can just smack down the Alola Ninetales and they don't get to a charge move. The final Pokemon is going to be a Zwilio. So we are gonna be able to get to the X Scissor right here for super effective damage. I should swap out into Gavantula, but I don't. I wanted to try to get to one more X Scissor, which I'm not able to do. That is a shiny, 
Zoilos as well. But unfortunately for dark types, I have three bug Pokemon right here, all with very nice charge moves to handle them. So we're going to go ahead and shield the body slam and throw the lunge to close this game out. So that's going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent, but a triple bug team all with great fast moves. Um, that do really well in this meta. Something you guys got to watch out for. And that was the final battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This team is a lot of fun. Venomoth, Crustle, Gavantula, triple bug, triple hard hitting fast moves, and good coverage on the Halloween Cup meta. So like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.